Hello everyone, today I have much more of a creepy video for you. I'm just kidding, I could never keep that up this whole time. So, there has been a lot of discussion about a certain someone on the internet lately. Um, it's a creepy pasta as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's called, well, her name is called Momo. Um, she's actually a sculpture made by a company, I believe, from Japan called Link Factory and they make special effects and she's um, a woman's torso with some bird legs um, on the end of it and there's been a creepypasta made about it um, with the WhatsApp and just everyone has been talking about this girl and so I am an artist and so I took the liberty of finally being like okay let's look it up I just finished, well, I just caught up on Boku no Hero, and there's been a lot of stuff about, oh, this is what um, <laughs> Profi would look like if she was, uh, if you tried to draw her realistically, and that's the first meme I saw, and so that's what I actually thought it was, but then I kept seeing it everywhere, and I was like, this, this can't be what this is, and so I decided to actually look up the origins for it, and it's true that it does lie in that uncanny valley, and so a lot of people find it quite creepy and quite terrifying, depending on who you are. And normally, I used to be freaked out by these kind of things as well. But because I know the truth about it, and know that it's just a special effects sculpture that was made, I can really see like the artistic ability behind it. I never thought that it was a real person, Especially with the way that the eyes are, the um, iris, it's um, just like a very, very solid color, and that's unrealistic, <laughs> other than the proportions of the actual face themselves. But that's what made me think it, it wasn't just Photoshop, because the, the irises are not um, as detailed as they would have been if it was real. But, um, it is quite a haunting image and it's a beautifully done sculpture it's you know it serves its purpose it's quite creepy and it got a lot of attention online in the communities and just to kind of celebrate the artist's success I decided that I would make um my own little portrait of it and though it's I guess this is my style I don't really have a set style yet but I really like the way that this came out and I took longer than I'd like to to uh, look at it and get all the little details right. And it was a little hard to totally decide what I was going to do about everything. Um, Michael from Vsauce has a lovely video about um, the Uncanny Valley and why we find certain things creepy. And um, it's titled, Why Are Things Creepy, I believe. And it's a very, very good uh, video about everything that you would ever want to know about why uh, people don't like clowns and why masks are scary and stuff like that. And so it's clear to see that Momo definitely falls into the uncanny valley where she looks enough like a human to not be funny or to be seen as um, obviously fake, but she's not human at the same time because she has very, you know, wild proportions. Obviously, she doesn't look human. And so it leaves you in this spot of, like, what is she? You know, is she evil? Is she good? Will she hurt me? And so that's where a lot of the fear comes from when looking at her. And um, I know that a lot of people um, don't like her in <laughs> the way she looks. Um, but there has been quite a lot of fan art um, online about her just um, helping her gain popularity as she has been these past few days and all the conspiracies about wh who is she really and the WhatsApp and all that different stuff about the numbers. Um, though it, it it is just a creepy possible belief, I believe. I don't think that the sculptor or anyone um, purposely set up um, these different phone numbers to send creepy pictures to people. Um, it could be that someone got a hold of the picture and made it their icon, but I don't think it, and, um, did those things, but I don't think it has anything to do with the company or, or the sculptor themselves. I think that that would be, um, a pretty dumb of them to do, especially when they know the, the negative media attention they could get from it, and that's certainly not what they're looking for, I don't think. Um, 
so I really did like drawing this. Um, I thought that the black and white would make it a lot more creepier, and I, I think it does. <laughs> um, but um, that's Momo for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I did, uh, surprisingly. <laughs> and I hope that we can all just accept different members of our community and different artists and different mediums. And this is art, whether it's creepy or not, and I really appreciate the sculptor for taking the time to create something truly creepy and being able to do it so perfectly. Um, thank you so much for watching this uh, video of Momo. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good day!